Hello there, and welcome to the 12th episode of our Pharmacy Calculations Practice Series. All right, so this question comes to us via our Facebook study group, and it states that you need 800 milliliters of 10% dextrose solution. You have 50% and 5% dextrose solutions on hand. So how much of each of those solutions will you need to mix to come up with 800 milliliters of 10%? The easiest way to solve this is using the allegation technique. And hopefully you'll remember that using this technique, you set up a tic-tac-toe diagram. We take our higher concentration and put it in the upper left. And we take our lower concentration that we have on, our, on hand and we put it in the lower left. We put our target concentration here in the middle. Now we take our higher concentration, subtract, the target concentration and we put that number in the bottom right and then we take the desired concentration we subtract the lower concentration and we put that number up here in the upper right and what this tells us is that we have five parts of 50 percent solution so that kind of carries across here to every 40 parts of 5% solution. So we have in this fraction a total of 45 parts. So to kind of summarize that, 5 out of those 45 parts equals 50%, and then 40 out of those 45 parts is going to be your 5% solution. So now to figure out how much of each we're going to need for 800 milliliters of our target. 10% solution. We can take that total volume and to figure out the 50% component, we multiply it by the fraction for that 50%, which is going to be 5 over 45. And the order of operation for this equation simply is 800 times 5 divided by 45. And that's going to be 88.5. 888, eight, etc. We'll just round that up to 88.9, or we could round that up to 89. And then to figure out the 5% component, we can do the same thing. You know, take 800 milliliters times 40 divided by 45. Or we can just take our 800 milliliters and subtract what we know we're using in the 50% solution. Minus 88.9 mLs is going to be. 711.1 milliliters. So our answer would be 88.9 milliliters of 50% and 711.1 milliliters of 5%. Now, if you see a question like this on the exam, you know, your answers may be rounded up to the nearest whole number, which you could easily do once you're looking at those solutions. If you have any questions about this solution or if you have other examples you'd like to see, please check us out on Facebook here, or you can email us at info at